Hey, what's going on YouTube? Crow Sama here. And today we're taking a look at another LBX kit because we're still in LBX month. And this is going to be the Nightmare Kit. I absolutely love it. It is menacing. It has great designs. And it has a pretty cool looking weapon, which is going to be the staff. So let's just take a look at all the details, gimmicks, and articulation in this review. And this review is sponsored by NewTypeHQ.com, so if you want to get yourself an LBX kit just like this one, you can go over there and use that promo code CROSAMA, so that way you can get 10% off your first purchase. Alright guys, so before I actually get into this review, I am going to tell you that this kit can barely stand. And maybe I use barely a little bit too harshly. It's just that it takes so much for this kit to stand up because the joints at the ankles is going to be extremely loose and the feet are just not reliable. They're not sturdy for it to stand up. And if you have that staff in any position, you know, awkward position, then it's going to have all that front, back, or whatever side heavy load, and it's going to lean to that part. But luckily, we do get a stand for this kit, thank goodness, because it would have been a rough time trying to get this thing to always balance on the shelf. So probably for most of this review, I'm going to try and use the stand, but otherwise, I'll make it work for standing up as much as I can. So one of the first things I do want to cover is going to be that sticker sheet. Man, oh man, it is pretty heavy. Um, and it's not necessarily, it's a lot, but it's it's a lot of main parts. And that's what kind of sucks a little bit more. Because if it was like small details here and there, then it's a little bit easier just to go ahead and paint that small detail. But a lot of this is going to be some main areas, especially that little centerpiece on the head. Uh, but a lot of it you can still paint, but you might as well paint the entire kit at that point. So we'll take a look at the head sculpt. Everything looks great. Uh, obviously, there's going to be some stickers right there in the center, as well as the top, uh, which is going to be all that blue. But you can easily paint that. The centerpiece, you're probably going to have to do a lot of masking. But once this thing is painted, man, I, I know it's going to look so much better. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think I've ever seen a painted Nightmare kit before. But I would definitely like to go ahead and just go online, take a look and see uh, before I decide to paint this particular kit. But when I do, I know I'm going to make it look great because that's what these LBXs uh, scream for. They scream to be painted. And I'm also going to love what I'm assuming is earrings. Um, it probably something else like a jester's um, you know, hat. Obviously, that's probably what this is stemming from because we had like the Joker uh, and there's like another one before this one or after it. I think after it because it came in uh, Wars. But this is a really cool looking sculpt and all the ver uh, versions of it, whether it's the Joker, this one, or the, I think it's like Harquin, they're all fantastic. Now looking at the body, this is probably my least favorite part of the entire LBX kit. It just doesn't look that great. I don't know whether this is like, you know, vents or uh, thrusters or something, but maybe it's supposed to be frills. I'm not really a fan of it. I don't think it looks that great. And there's going to be stickers right there on the center of the chest. So yeah, you're going to have some more painting to do. Now for the arms, it's going to be pretty simple. Really just a lot of black and you're going to have that like yellow orange color for the shoulders and then white for the hand. But obviously with some masking, you could definitely bring out a little bit more uh, some like, you know, contrasting colors. So that way you can break it up and not have it just com be completely black or completely white for the hands. And the waist is going to look really cool. I do love that like you know, orange right there in the center. These side skirts are going to be a pain because they're going to pop off with the most gentle of touches. So that really sucks. Now we're looking at the legs. There's really only going to be the stickers for the knees, uh, which is going to be that yellow. That's not too bad. That's easily painted. Uh, everything else is going to be parts. So you get a lot of color separation, especially in the feet. And you're also going to have some thrusters right here on the back of the legs, which I absolutely love. I uh, probably want to paint those in silver just because I think it's going to make it stand out a little bit more. And lastly, you are going to have the backpack with the paper cape. Really not a fan of it, to be honest. Um, I think it looks cool, but because it's paper, it's going to suck. And you're going to have to either make your own or you could possibly laminate this. And that may be able to help you out with the durability. Uh, but even then, I mean, you might be able to just make fabric and that kind of will make it a little bit better. But try laminating it. That's what I want to do whenever I get back and see if that's going to hold up at all. Um, if not, then I did my best. 
Now for the articulation, it's not horrible. It can definitely be better, but I definitely would have enjoyed a hyperfunction nightmare rather than the standard. But most of these kits, you're probably not going to be aiming to put them in dynamic poses. And instead, they're just going to be cool little shelf figures, and that's about it. Now for the staff, it is going to look really amazing. Unfortunately, it is going to come with some stickers, all these little white parts right here, stickers. And you're going to have these clear purple parts, which look really cool. So you can kind of do with that as you wish if you want to paint the inside like silver or, you know, do something to make it more reflective, however you want. I actually, I absolutely love it and I don't mind the kind of like, you know, same color, the, the like orange yellowish color kind of goldish i guess but i'm probably going to try and paint as much of this uh different as possible so probably this little part is going to be different all this is going to be different and then i'll make the staff like gray or something like that um but yeah that's just in the future just some future planning now even with all the shortcomings such as the articulation not really being that great but hey, it's an LBX standard kit, so I'm not gonna judge that part too critically. But granted, the articulation isn't that great. And the stickers, which once again, it's a standard LBX kit, it's kind of what you expect. Um, you know, even with all that and some issues with the parts just falling off, even at the most slight touch, this is still a really cool looking kit, and it's something I'm really happy to put on my shelf and even challenge myself in order to paint it and make it look better than what it is. Um, I think that's what this whole line really is, is either A, for the target audience of kids, so that way they could easily just jump into Plamo and start just building. But it's also gonna be for the guys who are hardcore enthusiasts of the LBX line, and maybe even some of the hardcore guys that just love to challenge themselves via painting, and they can paint this up and make it look fantastic. Because to be honest, guys, aside from a lot of professionals, I don't see too many people painting LBX kits. So I really have been seeing a lot of them in this month, but overall, I have not seen too much. Uh, so I would love to do a couple of LBX kits, uh, like some painted builds in the future, mainly gonna be this one, unless I just get a bunch of other ones that are fantastic in every way, and they kind of override my love for this kit. But honestly, it looks great. I love it, and I would recommend it. Just understand what the LBX line entails, which is going to be poor articulation and a hefty amount of stickers. Well, guys, that's all for me. Once again, I am loving the LBX month because it allows me, and hopefully it's allowing a couple of you guys, to experience model kits that we've never built before. I'm having a great time, and I'm so much looking forward to the future of LBX releases, especially since we did have a new one in the form of the Hyperfunction Odin, and which is one I really, really, really want to get. But hey, I'll be building another kit in the near future, so stay tuned for that review, as well as many others, because this month is still far from over. But that's it for me, guys. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great LBX February. Bye-bye.